It's Sunday. Why are you yelling? Wow. It's football Sunday in America. You're excited. It's football Guess Sunday what in we're America. Doing. Uh, you and me right now are likely in a car, in a, an extremely small car. What are you doing? Ah, dude, we're like at the reception at this time. Dude, this goes live at 5 a.m. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why actually, would we be in a car at 5 a.m.? Yeah, we wouldn't be. I just needed to make you feel bad, and I realized it. What are you doing? I'm looking for You're my vape. <laughs> making me nervous. God, imagine being 40 years old and vaping. All right. All right, so, uh, yeah, we're going to a wedding on Sunday. It's football day in America. We're going to miss first Sunday, but we did not miss uh, the first game. Yeah, Thursday it was night awesome. game. It's a great game. Bucks boys at Dave & Buster's. Fucking shut it down. So you went, Tony is turning 21, finally. Tony's just turning 21, turning 23. And we were going to go to the Yankee game. Uh, is Immediately when I bought the tickets, I was like, I regretted it. Because it was a Thursday game. We were going to go Wednesday. I thought his birthday was Wednesday. And then someone in the group was like, no, it's Thursday. Let's go Thursday night. So I was like, okay. And I didn't think twice about it. And then I was like, wait. It's like my entire fucking job revolves around (laughs) kickoff for the NFL. (laughs) Let's pivot. It was like Thursday morning and me and Tony both didn't want to go. Did you like get your tickets back, money back? No, we just ate that fucking L. I mean, I put them on for sale, but like no one bought them. (laughs) I bought them for like, they were like $11 a piece. Oh, okay. And and Claire ate like half of them. So, uh, yeah, probably lost like $100 on it. Oh. Well worth it. So how's Dave and Buster's? I haven't been there in maybe a decade. Can let me start off, let me start off by saying today... Uh, Stop. Actually, like four things. One, we went to Senza, the bakery. Okay. No. Average as best. Not it. The guy in there, I was like, you guys, same owners as the place, right? He was like, yeah, we're better, but yeah. I was like, what? You fucking weirdo. So we went to the bakery. We were there for a while. We went out to lunch. Two individual people recognized me at the table. They're like, one, one, like, I have a huge Asian audience, I've realized really quickly. Really? Yeah, because, I mean, they're smart as fuck, and they want to listen to me, obviously. Facts. Drop uh, it. One of them was like, BDGE, and I was like, what's up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, another guy, like, was like, dude. He, he was like an older dude. He's cool as hell. Uh, he stopped and talked to me for like 20 minutes, and, and Beast Sting was at the table, and he was like, I'm so sorry. He was like, he was like what do you think about Darrell Henderson? He was like, my bad. Like, I, <laughs> I got to ask him, though. He's like, I've been following you for years. He's like, I just saw the vlog of the draft weekend and shit. Yeah. It's like, that was so cool. Then I'm riding back on my bike, and guess who fucking is also on a bike? It intersects me, literally two two feet in front of me. It's like a celebrity. Yeah. G- give me New a York. Genre. Big, big into exercising now. Bronsonino, action Bronson fucking skirts right in front of me. I was like Bronson, let's go. And he was like, yeah. I was like, damn, today's all about celebrities. Holy I'm shit! You didn't celebrity. get a picture. Bronson's you couldn't. Like, uh, we were like, dude, we were in the middle of Houston. It was like heavy traffic. Was we it were... just him by himself? It was him and one of his friends. That's incredible. Yeah, they were on just a city biking. Bike? Uh, no, they were on regular bicycles. Or That's something. amazing. Like they were doing it for exercise. I was doing it because like I just like I gotta get home. Get me on a city bike. Yeah. So today was a good day so far. That was today. That was all this morning. All of that was this Holy morning. Holy shit. Within the last like four hours. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, it was fun. Well, that would be funny because when you called me, you're when I called you, you were like, this guy in a motherfucking moped. Dude, Imagine because, that was, that was right outside of Senza. Uh, and there was a dude, like a random, I think he was like homeless, but the only thing he owned was a, a moped bike and he just kept starting it. He was on the curb. He was on like the sidewalk. I'm like, dude, go on the street. And he just kept rapping around the block. And it was one of those that's so loud. And you yeah. know, all the streets down here are so narrow. So it was just like... It pissed me off so much. It was as soon as I started recording the audio message, I was like, Steve. And he was like, Hur. I was like, hold on one sec. Okay, he's done. Steve. Hur. I was like, this is fucking nonsense. Yeah, that was my What's morning. What's Dave and... I've been trying to think about it all day. What's their like theme song? It's like, Dave and Busters. Yeah. Is that it? Dave and... I feel like that's a different song. Just, they just... It, no, no, that's definitely right. Dave and Busters. Ooh, yeah. yeah. Dave and Busters. Yeah, Dave and yeah, Busters. Right? Kinda, okay. It kind of rocks. I feel like it's uh, not that. That one sucked, though. Because really? I mean, it's Times Square. Well, Everything we got, sucks at Times Square. We got Square. there, and they're like, sorry, the bar is not open. And we're like, what do you mean the bar is not open? Like, you got to sit down at a table in order to get drinks, but you could take the drinks into the into the floor area if you wanted to. So we got three towers they do towers there. yeah i remember we we got that before I think. yeah they had the mark tower a couple other towers so we got and we went to a bar before that had a couple espresso martinis had a couple rounds of Look shots you tiki did, did tony survive or was he 
Yeah, everyone was on, everyone was like standing standing up well. At least, well, we left Dave and Buster's probably around like eleven thirty or twelve. Oh wow! And we were in Times Square, so we we're on like Forty Second Street, and uh, they were like, "Let's go out into like the East Village, Lower East Side." And I was like, "Yeah, nah, it's your birthday, not my birthday." <laughs> <laughs> so I, I dipped out of there around like midnight. But I think TJ came in maybe like an hour after we did. So oh, that's I don't dope. Th- I don't know what the rest of the crew did, but uh, it, it was just like a fun, it was fun, wholesome night. Yeah, it was a like good no, squad of okay. of people. It was like Tony's friends. Our friends, uh, Noah came down and shit. Oh, nice. Yeah, it was, it was a good crew of people. I, I didn't have it in me yesterday. I was like, fuck this. I want to go nah. back. Nah, I I don't, I, you didn't it. miss nothing crazy, but it was just it was just. Fun. I was like, I've been seeing you too much, so let me Honestly, just go back. Yeah. It's been a lot. This month has been a lot, but I feel like now it's dwindling down. When the season starts, you're are you, you're just as busy or? Uh, it, it's, it's almost like I'm just as busy in terms of like total volume or total hours throughout the week, but they're all on like Monday, Tuesday. It's oh, yeah. really hectic. Yeah. And the hardest part about it, I'm actually kind of curious to see from like, wish I was like a fly on the wall of my own life, what I'm going to do on like Sundays now. Because, you know, I love Sundays. Yeah. Like it's probably the day that I go out most. Yeah. Sundays. Um, really hard for me to do that during football season though. You know, I try not to do it most of the time, but I feel like I'm going to have a hard time not doing it right now. That puts I feel like me back. Falls like a really good Sunday days. Great Sunday days. Any any day besides any 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 day besides <laughs> <laughs> any day that ends in S U N D A Y is a good day to fucking go out. But any time outside of winter is like Sunday's my favorite thing to go out in. But like during football season, my ideal day would be like be on this couch, honestly, like pop ten milligrams of Adderall, watch the games, take notes all day on that shit. So I'm like set up for success on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. If I don't do anything on Sunday, my Monday, like the level of anxiety I have is just... Through the roof. It's like you can't put a rent price on it. It's fucking... It's Sullivan colorful houses. So you just have, you just have anxiety for 16 weeks? Yeah. That's it's, incredible. It's pretty bad, yeah. And you're not sleeping now. I'm nervous for you. Okay, I'm, I'm sleeping way better now. I didn't sleep last night only because, you know, I don't sleep well with other people in my... Kick him out. Kick TJ out of your bed. <laughs> I should. I like don't have the heart to do it though. You should be like, oh, I'm really tired. You should get the fuck out and just turn You're, around. Well, here's the thing: when you say, "Oh, I'm really tired," they're like, "Okay, let's go to bed then." Yeah, you be like, like, "Oh, but the Uber's here." <laughs> yeah, fuck. Do right. that. Get an Uber XL. I'm like in too deep at that point. Though. <laughs> you know what I mean? This is not like a one night fucking stand thing. Where it's like, I told her today, I made her feel really fucking bad about it. Not really bad. I was just like, I didn't sleep at all because. But I like I always say that up front though. Yeah, you know, yeah you're it's, the worst. it's like a real problem I have. You can't have another white yelling about your twin full size bed <laughs> issues. You're right, Get you're it right. fucking going. We, we can't go down that. that I path. saw the uh, tweet that you posted about how much you hate in season content. Yeah. Do you think that's also going to play a role on how you? Uh, I have a videos? couple pieces of content that I think will make things better. I don't know what we're going to do for fade the public. Um, that's a thing still. That it's a good question. I really don't know. At this point, we've done a lot of the shit that we've done recently has been like the vlog stuff. So yeah. we didn't like put out episodes for it. And I'm not sure. I mean, in season, I think the, our best content is in season. Yeah, fade makes the public. sense. My best content personally is off season. Our best fade the public content is in season. So I would obviously like to do the fade the public content. But like, I mean, we've had this conversation a numbing yeah. amount of times. You know, it's just like. But I, I was thinking also, like, maybe you do need seasons. For certain things like fade the public's just in in football season, why yelling's off season because we couldn't do it the last two months. I I got busy, you got busy. I mean, we could have done it. Our content was just getting that's, fucking. That's horrendous. really not a bad way to look at it. Yeah. I haven't really like contextualized that, but when you when you just said it, it kind of felt right. Right. I mean, yeah. that's that's why like I'm leading here. up to it, like um, maybe maybe like fade the public from maybe like our league meeting is like when it kicks off at the end of July, early August, and then getting prep for it, the punishment the draft and everything yeah. and then in the season. That's actually not a bad idea at all. And then off season could be like different different production things we put together, different films. And it doesn't need to be every week or something. It could nah. just be shit that they want to actually do. Like nah, that's a really good idea actually. Send it to the team and let's see what they say. Yeah. Well you know what's great about these episodes? I don't gotta send it. Like everyone on the team watches them. Oh so do they? <laughs> I, I think so. I, I think most of the people on YO I mean it pretty much pertains directly to them. You know? Yeah, this is just it's always like us just talking shit about <laughs> people <laughs> in the most sincere way possible. Um, Can I just say this weekend, well, not this weekend, it was two weekends ago now. The draft weekend? Noah is an incredible human. FB God? Yeah. Noah 
was like he wasn't even there, but he was there the whole time. I'll I'll just for the rest of my life I'll never forget when I walked in on him and his girlfriend in the laundry room. <laughs> and I don't even mean like I walked in on them having sex. It was like the night of the party, five thirty a.m. Things are finally settled down. We're on the couch upstairs. Can't find blankets anywhere, so we're like, let's go into the laundry room. I open the door, and the first thing I notice is it's like. I just get a waft of like a hundred degrees hit me. Like it was like a sandstorm. And I was yeah. like, oh my, like, oh my God. And then I look down and I see Noah and his girlfriend just on the floor of the laundry room on a, a dirty pile, like- a dirty pile of towels, bro. And like, she was dead asleep. I started cracking up and then I looked down at Noah and I see it's dark, but I see like a crack of smile come out. Like he was up and he was like, oh, fuck, you caught me. <laughs> and I was like, oh, are those, uh, can we use those like towels? Are they dirty? He's like, now they are. And I was like, fuck, dude. I'll never forget walking on him in the laundry room, bro. He, so he was there for the party, but didn't do anything with a Saturday. Just like use that house as a sleeping place. Yeah. But when he came in Friday, he was just like, I'm just here to help. And I was like, take this cooler and go to every single fucking bodega and take their ice. And without hesitation, they're both just like, okay. And just came, did it like six times. Like two kids from Cape May with a cooler around New York City. I'm like, you Bruh. can't make this up. They're like, I, we just want to be contribute. I'm like, here's my card. Bruh. Just keep going. And they Everything just, about that weekend was just It went to Target like nine times for lights. I was going to say, the charges I have on my credit card are like, I'm not questioning them. I'm just like, what it, What happened? Yeah. What happened? A lot of little things. Yeah. Um, but yeah, speaking of credit card, we didn't go into the red. First time. Yeah. Um, I think if Underdog didn't give us money, we might have. Got into the red. It but been. we would have strategically done things differently. That's yeah. what I said beforehand Maybe. also. Because we knew we had a bigger budget. What was your favorite part about the weekend? I, I would say the party. Yeah, I had a I really fun thing about Friday. Yeah, I had a really fun time. I, that's all. I think the only time I had fun. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <Maybe>. <laughs> no, I, it was. I had fun at brunch. I, I actually, like you said, uh, during, I don't know if you put this on the, the, the vlog, but like this year's group just awesome. meshed well, awesomely, and. Not one weak link in there. Yeah, not, one not at all. And it was just awesome to talk to each of them individually and see them how they, they were partying with each other. And it was just funny because none of them, like, ever come to the city. And, like, the Canadian Nick was just like, yo, bro, <laughs> this is crazy, bro. And I'm like, yes. That's a really yeah. good in- interpreter. Uh, <laughs> like, anytime you talk, I was like, more, <laughs> more. <laughs> yeah, dude, the, those are, uh, I feel like low-key my goal is always, like, I want them, I want at least like three text messages within the week afterwards of them being like, yo, I'm thinking about moving into New York. Did you get those? I got, I think I got two. Maybe EJ said he was trying to convince his girlfriend to move into New York. Um, I think that might've been it actually. (laughs) His girlfriend texted you (laughs) trying to come to New York. No, I think it it was an awesome time. My biggest fear is these are always going to get bigger. So am I just going to get more tired? Like, is this going to, like... I think this one was, like, excessive. You and me slept a total of probably, like, three to four hours. I, I'm so mad you didn't have a camera. We were delusional Absolutely Saturday night. Out of control. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still recovering, I feel like, from It was it. bad. That but, was like, so how, how do we go forward from this? Like... Okay, so... Yeah, like I said, I think there are leg, there are a lot of legs to this, bro. I think there's, like, different directions we can go. We can go vertical. We can go horizontal. And I mean that... Physically, I mean that business wise. Like, okay, Lay so it on can, me. can you stop that? So, yeah, I'm sorry. I forgot I was even doing this. <gasps> wow, <laughs> you almost got the nuggets. <laughs> um, Why so we could do multiple weekends. We can do. We can do. I, I think. I think the most realistic next step would be either two of these. Either back-to-back weekends, two houses in New York, same weekend, or two locations. One New York, one wherever. California, Texas, D.C., some shit. Mm -hmm. Um, My instinct tells me we're not built for two weekends in a row doing this. Way too difficult. I would die. Physically, I'm not. I, 
I need like that's too much during August for me to be able to pay yeah. attention to work too. If we did it the same weekend, two different houses, it would work out perfectly because each they we'd stay in each other's houses like for the duration of the weekends mostly, but like that Friday night party, we'd all come together. When we go out Saturday night, we'd all come together again. So we'd spend the nights together, we would just have like different weekends. The only problem would be I would have to totally outsource a house by itself. I wouldn't be able to manage and control one house. And I know like you could, but I would need someone who's like head of fantasy. Yeah. You know what I mean? To actually organize a house by itself. Um, that would be the easiest because we knock out almost both logistics by having the nights already planned being the same. You know what I mean? So we could scale. I had it. a thought. Okay. I have no idea if it makes sense. You know how, like, they in Las Vegas, they have that conference for fantasy football? What if you just did, like, a kind of like a conference for this? Not, like, like business shit, but, like, we run out of, hotel, like, hotel rooms and shit, and then we could use, like, a, like what you guys do for E-Town, Get Down, like, their conference room for the two drafts, and then have, like, a huge party somewhere, and, like, you know, do it like that. Yeah, that's actually pretty because cool. Because you can get, as, you can do so many drafts. Like, it could be, like, poker tables. Like, everyone's drafting, but it's under the BDGE community. That's, like, one night. Some in one spot, yeah. But then, like, we're gonna like that to scale. Like, you're gonna have to like probably yeah. run out a bar or some shit, like yeah, shit like that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we run, we're not think there scaling, yet. Though, but, I want to yeah. do it slowly. Yeah, like yeah. The, my only my only concern would be like, but oh, I, I see that as the future. Like that, you, a BDG. It's almost like a conference. draft conference. It's a con oh, that's pretty cool. You actually. know, like, yeah. and it's just like you just and then we just party for fucking two days and we just. But like, that's when you have like. Well, yeah, see, that's the difficult part is, like, having to organize yeah. 75 people worth of, like, having fun and doing shit. Yeah. That would be fun, though. Uh, the, only, the only thing that was... Because like, I was thinking we can never do more than one weekend, but if you're trying to scale a weekend, how do you scale one weekend? Yeah. The, the, the realistic thing is, like, we would just need duplicates of us. We would need two of us to be in another location. Yeah. I don't think it's, like, impossible to do because we've set the framework for what this weekend is. Basically. Really headed down to science this year. I was really excited. Yeah, it was really, really good. Yeah, it was, it was pretty awesome. seamless. The only thing I would change is not going to make believe. Yeah, we thought that was not. I mean, the that was just due to the fact of wasn't the vibe of the group. Yeah, that was just due to vaccine mandates and all that. Vaccine, yeah, because we yeah, it was like fifteen bars that turned us down originally. But I like your idea of like going somewhere for sunset and then kind of ripping different bars afterwards, like dive bars afterwards. Because yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, that's what like New York nightlife is. It is like the dive bars and stuff like that. But, um, I yeah. Otherwise, I feel like, like this weekend could be like one of your main. Bread and butters. I mean, it really kind of is already. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it gets a little bit more hype each year, but I feel like this year was kind of like we blew the top off of it. Yeah. You know? And this is overall just great marketing for you, right? Like, essentially? Like, yeah. Is this really just random? I mean, up? you look at, like, every comment on the video. It's like, I'm coming next year. I'm like, no, you not. Yeah. <laughs> but but it's like we'll have a, a wait list for it, you know, next year. If when we do decide to scale, and again, like, with scaling, it's like demand meets supply, raise the price like this year we were able again to raise the price from year one is a thousand dollars year two is 1200 with people grandfathered in at a thousand this year was 1500 for the grandfather 2000 for the newcomers next year if we had three five spots to fill 2500 for the newcomers you know 1750 for the for the old heads and stuff and it's just it's it's obviously not the personal it's just a game of fucking business but it's also everything gets enhanced it's not like we're just keeping the same exactly i mean yeah, yeah we're gonna spend know? the money that you fucking give us to make it a better weekend and yeah shit. it's not like we're over here just rich as fuck and i'm telling like eventually the same thing with like underdog that's our first glimpse of like getting real sponsor money there you know what i'm saying like they mm -hmm. gave us money for the weekend that's like that goes a long way what they gave us and it's yeah. such a fraction of a fraction of what they have to to give yeah. and what's did they do they know like how it was or do they watch the video or anything or oh uh, oh i like from specifically the money they gave us for that weekend no but i could tell you from just the fucking signups that we got in august that like yeah they know oh they know yeah oh they oh, know. we in this oh we in underdog this. We bike. I have never nothing left, else to say. But, but I'm on that munch point. You have so many flies here. So many. I've been absolutely... I, I double flied up a fucking electric water the other time. And the draft guide, how did that sell? How, how did that do? So uh, is August like your... Like makes and breaks you as a company? You see, so I was talking about this today. Um, It's so... Far, it's just, dude, my life is like cycles. Like seasonal cycles. And you know like my emotions by the cycle off season it's me stressing like oh shit we got to make sure everything's good because i'm not making money from like january to 
You're like a hot dog cart in New York City. Yes. Once the winter comes, you're like, I saved all my summer money. Yeah. Got to make it through. And then August hits, and it's like, dude, I think we pulled in. Oh, we easily pulled in over, like, I don't know. We made a lot of fucking money in August. We'll put it that way. This is like the, like, this ever? Is, By or? far, this was the most we've ever made in a month as a company. Oh, wow. Like, over six figures. Like, like really, really big time fucking money. Yeah. Um. This yeah, this year will go down. Good. We'll make the most money we've made so f- so far as a company this year, which is crazy because for two reasons, our biggest partnership we took equity instead of cash, so that's not counting towards what we made this year. But we did kill it on signups and shit, so that helped a lot. And secondly, we didn't have like the site or the draft guide live until like. The beginning of August. Yeah. So that's like two to three months of revenue we probably left on the table. But now we'll have the monthly memberships going throughout the off season. Last year was also the first time I really dove into like dynasty content in the off season. So I know how to attack that if I want to do it from like a money making perspective mm-hmm. in terms of what kind of videos I should be putting out. So I'm well, well more well prepared. Here, here's what I'll say: like whatever year, whenever. I don't know what I can actually put on camera to be honest. Yeah, I know what you're about to say, and just don't say it. Yeah. I'll just say, like... Once the lights turn t- change color on that... <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll be a seven-figure company, I think, within the next two years. Two years? Yeah. You really... Th- yeah. I feel like Mr. Krabs right now, and I mean... Like, I, th- I think we will. Really? Yeah. And where does that bring you, though? Like, Like... What what happens? I can like, what's start your making full time hires now? I know, but then what's the vision? Like, you're gonna get like a you're, you're staying in a city, you're gonna rent a place to like, like what do you see? What, I don't if, know. I really you, enjoyed this summer of yeah. it of it like of just enjoying life. To be no, honest. I understand that, and yeah. that's but once you get a full time hire, it can't just all fucking be here. So I'm just saying, like, what's do you have any vision, or you're not even thinking about that that far ahead? Because if you think the money's gonna be in two years, shouldn't you think of what's gonna happen in two years also? Or you're like, no, nah, I don't work like that. Uh, I should probably look at it that way. And I usually do, but I'm not right now, Mm -hmm. which I think is like kind of a good mindset to have. You know, I'm, I'm, this is me totally. Yeah, no, it's really going to come down to like, I'm again, what we talked about off camera. If this summer proved anything to me, it's like, I literally don't need any, like, I don't need anybody else to make this shit work. Yeah. But you you want the people around you to keep succeeding. Of course. Yeah. 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 To keep this thing going. Like as always, I, I, I don't need anyone around me. So that will always be like making me happy and, and making sure my content is good. And like having Tony around has been absolutely massive for me. Yeah. So as long as I have me and then like the one other person that can take the shit that I don't want to do off my plate, that will keep us running like for a long time. That's awesome. And then we expand from there. I'll see like, uh, I'll invest into that. I'll invest into what makes me happy. If it's a, an apartment, if it's whatever, like I'm hoping the perfect storm comes where Soho there's a loft upstairs and a so front, well we well we hit the we hit the equity bomb yeah. and then we could sell our crypto punk and I would assume both of those are gonna be like within like twenty five to thirty five percent of the same money sphere whatever uh and then I'll buy a place in Manhattan. I'll buy I'll buy a, an apartment or something. That'd be crazy. I'll invest a good amount of chunk chunk of change into it. I would like to do that, like, sooner rather than later. That'd be out of control. Yeah. I would like to own an apartment. And I think I could do it. The yeah, pro- yeah, no, 100%. The problem is just going to be, like... The right apartment. You're not, you, you've never settled. That's... Yeah. That's, your like, your gift and like, your Like, I'm curse. here, and I know the location I want to be in. Yeah. And each year I move into a new place, I start to realize, like, what things I like, what things I don't like. But that's... T- that's... I mean, when you're buying an apartment... They put they put that into the cost, you know. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. So I don't know. I mean, I'll, I I've never looked into like the actual apartment real estate industry when it comes to actually buying shit. So I'll figure it out. We'll eventually. get my my dad up in here. He'll negotiate for us. Let's fucking go. He'll just sit there. Like how he negotiated when I bought a car was out of control. <laughs> I didn't even want to buy a car. People, and yeah. he, he got me to buy a People car. The older generation are just so good at negotiating. Yeah, dude. we're we're so fucking. What is like a simp? Yeah. Whatever they call it, like we're like, yes, yeah. <laughs> like we'll pay what you want yeah. <laughs> just because you showed up. Fuck. But that's a, I mean, that's awesome. Like this, I was talking to Heather, like 
work-wise, this has been a very tough year for me. And I think if I was in any other mindset, I probably would have crumbled, like, depression and whatnot. But this year was fine. Like, even though I didn't get to hang out as much as I wanted to, and I still probably COVID-related and also just, like, work-related, like, mentally, I was I was good. And I think that, that goes a long way. And I think, like you said, like, you're, you took happiness this summer and... You're making you're making what's right. You're like right decisions, and I'm I'm trying to do that too. You know, I'm trying to go back to Jersey. I think everything will work out. And like I told you, like the other day, I think like I was like I have a timeline of like three years, and then like you're gonna pay the man. You're gonna you're gonna <laughs> you're gonna pay the man. You're gonna pay the man. Shout out you know? LJ. <laughs> LJ. That's actually like low key one of the best lines. Yeah, just like pay the man. Pay the man. And the way he says it. Yeah, like, what is it? Pay the Texas man. accent. But I think stuff. that's like like my plan too. I'm like I'm just gonna like three more years, Nick. I'm gonna come and just like. I did what I had to, <laughs> so. Yeah, dude, there's just so many little pieces that are, like, unlocking themselves one at a time, and there, there's going to be a time that eventually hits when it all comes in waves, and it's like, what I've learned quickly when it comes to making money is, like, once you start making money, it's really easy to make money. It's yeah. really easy to make more money and, like, compound it. It's, like, why the rich stay richer, bro? Because you start making money, and then, like, you surround yourself with people that make money that give you opportunities to make more money. And then before you know it, it's just like you learn things from them about, you know, things you never thought of when it comes to like making money, the fucking, um, V friend NFT. I bought. Yeah. Yeah. Something happened today. Right. He said, he was so doing- he announced. So, yeah. So basically like I've told you this, the function, the, the reason I bought it was not just to have a piece of fucking art from Gary V. It was because it got you into the V con, mm-hmm. which is like his version of South by Southwest. There's going to yeah. be music festivals, business speakers, athletes. And I was like, that's a really cool festival. And I trust Gary V to run it well. Right. In the same way that like people come to the draft weekend, they're like, I trust Nick to not fuck it up. Like I trust Gary the same way. I'm like, I just want to go. And that got you into it for the next three years. Normally tickets for that are like 2,500 a pop for one year. So I'm like, get it. I got half an ETH. It was $1,000 when I bought the token. Yeah. And I knew Gary V was going to blow this shit up anyways. What if for half an ETH, I got an offer this morning for 15 ETH on it. I could sell oh, it right now, like live on this fucking show for like $55,000. That's wild. Part of me is like, I should probably do that. A lot of me is like, I should probably do that. He announced today, the thing he announced today was at the first VCon. He didn't tell any, he didn't know where it was going to be. He, all he said was like, the first one is going to be in North America. And I was like, okay, I figure it's in New York because he's from yeah. New York. He lives here. His company's here. It's in Minnesota. I don't know anybody else with a fucking V friend, which is yeah, his yeah, NFT. Yeah. I remember I tried to get a few people to buy into it. A couple of dudes that had the CryptoPunk. I tried to get Jack yeah. Settlement to buy him. No one bought it at the time. All like fucking idiots now. But I would be like going to Minnesota by myself for this, which would like would be fine, you know. And it's not even like I could buy somebody else a ticket for it. It's like Tony, come with me. I'm not dropping sixty thousand dollars so you yeah. can come to a fucking conference. So it's like. The NFT market is absolutely insanity right now. And it's like, man, I don't know. It's literally like, do I, I I could keep this V friend or I could hire somebody full time. You know, it's like, it's like a meme at this point. No. Yeah. I mean, it was, it's actually funny you brought that up because there's a, there's a, there was like a Twitter thread going out as this guy saying like he would take a dinner with Jay-Z instead of taking $500,000. And it, because he's like the the knowledge he would give you and everything like that is more than the five hundred thousand. And then uh, what what is he on title? Yeah, tweeted out like take the five hundred k. And it's like fucking facts because you don't know what you're gonna get at this conference. And I'm not saying anything like Gary Vee probably does something amazing, but it might not be something you need because you already have it. Okay, so the, so the reason I would hold it at this point it's it has nothing to do with the conference anymore. I think just, this thing could be worth five hundred k in a couple of years. Yeah, I yeah. But in a couple of years, who knows if that's something that's even gonna right make a big difference in your life anymore? True, but. I get it, but like right now, you said you have small steps, everything goes in fruition. That fifty five k could that, pay somebody. Yeah. So I get it here and there, but you also yeah, you know, you know best. Yeah. I don't know. I'm gonna sit on it for a little. I mean, bit you longer. also bought it for a half a ETH, so I think therefore- leading up to the conference, it'll probably keep shooting up. And the thing about him is, like, he continuously says things you know most pieces of nft have no literally no value to them other than people being like i love this art it's like no you don't it's a fucking pig cartoon like stop pretending you like it because you're going to be able to pump it for 10x like he keeps saying he's like dude between now and new year's eve i'm going to be giving away shit to uh to the people that own v friends like 10 to 15 different times that are going to keep making this value go up like he's already allowed us to mint 
all these different NFTs. He's like, if you're a V friend, you get access to this NFT. And like, it's an NFT I've gotten and been able to sold for like $2,500 off the rip just because yeah. of that. You know, like he keeps doing shit like that. Or he'll just like send you stuff in the mail. They're all worth a lot of money. And I'm just like, this is why his shit will keep going up in value. Cause he's going to force it to be up in value, you know? And he's a crazy person. Yeah, that's true. I feel like, like you said, like there's so many shit right now. NFTs, it's getting saturated. He even said it's going to like, pop soon but Dude, we just I don't, like we literally just saw this with nba top shot yeah everything was 50x the price as soon as it dropped six months later only the most valuable things can even sell really? lebron's or rookie yeah like you can't like nothing like anything you bought dude i i put probably still wait in line for that shit i haven't heard anything about a drop in like uh. months uh i probably put six to seven k into nba top shot and my value right now is supposedly like twelve hundred dollars. Like everything did. Everything I the most expensive thing I bought was like a three thousand dollar card. I could probably sell it for like nine hundred now. Wow. And, and it, I mean, it goes to show. It's just like that's everything. Like when you drop something that's really high volume, the cream will rise to the top. You know, and it's like the most valuable, the LeBrons, the rookies, the one of ones, those things will always be valuable. But like a fucking Brandon Jennings assist in a regular yeah, season yeah. game, <laughs> that shit was going for like eight hundred dollars a pop, and it's just like. We're seeing that with NFTs now. Things that aren't practical, things that have no fucking value, why would they matter in 10 years when, when there's a billion supply of it? But that's the thing. So, like, I guess the Gary Vee one makes sense because he's, he's fu- kind of funny. He also has a brand and, and a community, a brand. right? So that These, makes you sense. Have people but, like, like, I see, like, I haven't talked to Scott in a while, so shout out to Scott, but yeah. I know he's killing it on NFTs, but, like, that, like, why, I know our crypto punk shouldn't matter but it was yeah. the, it made sense for there's a me story to invest. behind it yeah the story yeah. behind it was the one on the first yeah, yeah. there's only ten thousand. that makes sense but why is that fucking monkey in a cigar that's like another thing money. i don't know the stories behind all those but a lot of them i've i've been like scott i know you know the game way better than me you are way more knowledgeable yeah. about all the nfts and shit please cash out most of what you have now so you could like liquidate that and use it for your future and shit and he, yeah. I, I i like we've had talks behind the scenes about shit he you know like he knows what he's doing he's done really really well yeah with it. but yeah like every like that single, shit can't no it can't last right it, it won't no it won't yeah. it, it like no it, it's it, there's so much dumb shit going on with the nfts right now that it's gonna it's gonna bubble and it's gonna burst and you're, you're seeing it more and more it's like as soon as nba top shot like the packs yeah. stop being like plus ev on every plus money on yeah. every single pack that dropped people's the line started going smaller and smaller and that's what's going to be it's it's costing more so when you when you mint an nft you have to pay these gas fees really like the people who make the nfts people who mint them they're like dudes like on computers and shit and supposedly it takes like a lot of power like physical power to do it so you pay what they call gas fees yeah and when like a new project drops everyone's trying to buy it at once so like the people who pay the highest gas fees are the ones who get it minted for them so the more people that know about it when these projects drop you got to pay higher and higher and higher gas fees uh so like eventually when these projects start getting lower in value and people stop wanting to pay the gas fees like we're gonna see it start to crumble linearly and then what you're left with is the nfts that actually give people value still are the ones that people are going to want to fucking buy you know what yeah. i mean like that's my whole principle behind it i it, mean that logical sense yeah anything, like it so. do, i don't i don't know but you just no one knows like our crypto punk even though it has a good story could right just right right like, oh yeah like yeah. crypto punk i've like, in a year crypto punk could literally be worth nothing yeah like, we could be fucked and yeah. i wouldn't be surprised at all yeah i'd be surprised but like i'd be like that would suck but yeah. what are you gonna do yeah like none of this shit like really makes any sense yeah but. like i was talking to mike a little bit on draft and he's just like he like loves his crypto horse he just he sold has, uh, I don't know if I could say this. He, he, he group chatted us. He also put it in his Discord, so I think it's public knowledge. He sold three of his horses for seventy ETH like two nights ago, which is ETH is at like thirty five to four thousand right now. So that's like two hundred, almost two hundred, yeah. like a quarter of a million. Three horses, like that's that's ridiculous. Yeah, horses have some practicality behind them, though. I think I think you could like actually race them, and I don't know the story behind it. It's but, not, what is but it's more strong? than just sitting in your wallet. <laughs> Yeah, it's fucking ridiculous. It's a crazy world. What um, are you do? Yeah, what else we got going on? The, oh, yeah, so the draft got sold well. The draft got sold, I think we sold, uh, actually probably close to like the number that we sold last year. Oh, wow. So you probably could have smashed it if you did it. Oh, yeah, easily. And we'll sell, we'll sell a lot more Dynasty and Rookie Guides next year, too. Which How do you be, like the website, like, overall, yeah, everything? It's really good, yeah. Yeah, you, like, I, 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 like, browse it. I think yeah, it's Yeah, it's, it's very clean. It's, yeah. it's like, super so mobile-friendly. So you're happy friendly. with it. Yeah, now yeah. you think moving Perfect. forward it's good to go. 
And then are you still are you going to do Patreon still? Is everything through the website? How does that uh, work? I've told everybody to move off Patreon. So anyone, so anyone that's listening that's still a Patreon member, like literally on Patreon.com slash BDG, I've emailed them, I messaged them. Like I've gotten, I tried to get in touch with everyone on there. There's still people on there though, and there, I think there always will be. I want them to cancel and move over there. Mike is still on Patreon. Um, so we'll probably leave him on Patreon because he's got like his whole thing set up already. I want to get completely off Patreon. I would love to do it through the website because there's just so much flexibility that you can have within there. You can actually give away like free months. You can give percentages off and you can do a lot of stuff with the information that you get from the users and stuff within membership websites. Um, that's the other thing too. Like we're going to end up making a lot of money through membership stuff. And yeah. the website made it like super, we got a ton of new signups for Patreons and especially so the Patreon membership, we have two, right? We have yeah, like the regular tiers. one and then like the the GOAT membership, yeah. which is just access to me. It's like a private thing in Discord. And I raised the price from 45 to 60 So it's $60 a month to get into that Discord channel with me. And we saw probably like two to three X signups on that moving over to the new site. Oh, wow. Because we basically have a page now where it's like, oh, you want to sign up for the community? It's like join the big dogs or become a GOAT. And so it's like the two are right next to each other. And it's like everything everything plus channel with Nick. So it's like, oh, people are already going over there for the draft guide. Then they see that and they're like, oh, okay, let me sign up there. So that was huge in terms of just having like a really clear path towards what you're looking for. Um, so that's been really, really big for that. What about merch? So this was the only thing I had kind of problems with, with the website. Uh, the platform that we used for merch it's called Shopify. Yeah. It's like one of the most popular e-commerce platform out there right now. Really good for merch and drop shipping and stuff. Switching over to the new website, we use, we're using WordPress. And in WordPress, they have like plugins, which is basically like going to the app store, right? So it's like, oh, within WordPress, you go to the app store and download all these different plugins that are like the apps for your website. They have, we use WooCommerce. That's a, it's, instead of Shopify, it's WooCommerce. It's a different type of like e-commerce sales platform. And WooCommerce is just like a shit show compared to Shopify. But you can't use Shopify. It's like, it's, it's like Shopify oh, versus and, WordPress. Okay. So you can't use both of them at the same time. Um, and like, we had so much trouble pulling in the merch site from a, it got really messy. And right now the merch still links back to the old Shopify. So they're not like in sync right now that I'm going to have to like get in touch with some company or website to try to sync it up or some shit. I don't know. Uh, but it's, yeah, it's, it's kind of a little bit messy there. Mm. So you can't like add a shirt to the set, to the cart and a draft guide to the cart and all that shit to the cart at the same time. Right now, the merch is like its own thing. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. But what's up, baby? Nothing much, you know. Just enjoying the last hot air. Fall is coming. It's Crunchy to be, leaves. It's supposed to be like ninety degrees next week. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> I don't even check the weather we anymore. Bike. I thought we were. Uh, I thought we were good for. Are you going to go to any games this year? Yeah, Falcons are playing the Giants week three. Oh, okay, I'll be there. Did you already get tickets? Uh. Snacks might have got us tickets already. I think he's got season tickets, but I don't know if we're getting those or not. Mm. I'll, I, I didn't. If he didn't get it for us, I didn't get tickets yet. But I'm definitely going to that game for sure. Like you're still a Falcons fan? Yeah. When the fuck was I not? I'm just like you used to be like an Oklahoma City Thunder fan. You're not anymore. But I'm just like I don't follow basketball. I'm a Knicks fan now. Why are you Why are you whispering? I refollowed basketball. Why are you whispering? What else are you going to do this fall coming up? Because you tell me in the summer you're too busy to hang out. And then you tell me in season you're too busy to hang out. I wasn't too busy to hang out this summer. All I did was fucking hang out this <laughs> summer. You were too busy to hang out. I was. This summer killed me. Fall? Uh, I don't know, dude. Probably just work, really. But, like, I'll have... I don't know. I, I, I could do shit. We should go to, we should actually go to Massachusetts, or Salem. I like can't go without Heather. Yeah. I mean like middle of October. She can't. She's going to Ohio. Dude, that was like, I feel like we had this conversation. She's going the first week of October. They're gone. You're gone the last week of October or some shit. Yeah. There's fucking four weekends in October. Yeah. And Figure all the two out. weekends I'm working. Figure it out. I can't. When are you working in Jersey? I don't know. What do you want me to do? I'm going to Salem. Me and Heath. <laughs> Led one's there. You can say say hi to him. 
Does he live there? Yeah. No, not Salem. He yeah, lives in Boston. We're close to it. Beast Things was like, I got a house. I got a summer house in somewhere out there. Who said that? Beast Things. Who the hell is that? I thought we established this already. Oh. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. <laughs> 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 I've said that like three times already, so I figured you knew who, what I was talking about. I was just about. like not paying attention to you. When you were saying it, I was like, I don't know who that is. I'm just going to keep <laughs> keep going with this conversation. Yeah. Well, she's from Massachusetts, but she's got, a, I guess, a house somewhere near, maybe wow. near Salem. It's like it's got a pool. I'm like, bitch, we're going in October. So, so the summer's over. Tony was here for the whole summer. What do you rate him? Mark rating. Well, give me like. Uh, his production, his enthusiasm, and his entertainment. Like all combined in one or all three different scores? All three different scores. All right. Listen them again. Do one by one. Productiveness? Productiveness? Like a 9.7. Wow. He literally did anything I needed him to do. His no en- questions asked. His enthusiasm. Like, pretty fucking high, too. Like a 9.1. And his entertainment? Fucking 2.1. <laughs> I hate Tony. No, nah, Tony's a good, that, I think, he's a good kid. I think he's, he's 23, which is wild. I, every time he takes out his credit card to pay for something, I get scared. I laugh. I'm like, Tony, like, you know, like, you fucking like, know we're not going to let you pay for it. And I was like, you have no money. Stop it. But it's out of control. He took it out for his birthday dinner. Like, he was about to cover that $500 fucking bill. Oh, wait, you weren't there last night. Yeah, we got the bill. And he's like, I got it. It was like legitimately like five hundred fifty dollars, and he thought we were just gonna let him pay with his credit card. You should have slapped him. I wanted to. He's a very wholesome person. Yeah, it's just really funny to see him because I'm like very nervous that like he has no money, but it's too polite to tell you that he has no money. <laughs> and I'm like Tony, stop! Like just I ask him from time to time, like you need money? Do you need shit? Like, and what he probably just need? says no, right? Yeah, because he's polite. He's probably- he's not polite. He's a cunt. I don't think he- I think he's pretty polite. He's a cunt. Well, he is, but he's a polite cunt. He's a cunt. He's a... He's a fucking cunt. (laughs) Jesus. He's a fucking... You just said you stopped conniving. (laughs) (laughs) You just said you stopped cursing. That's not... Cunt's not a curse. You said fucking conniving cunt. That wasn't me. Who was it? (laughs) It was Sally. Why does this always happen to you you in the end of why yelling? What do you mean the end? We're only halfway through. (laughs) How much time we got? 45. Pretty good. <laughs> Pretty not bad. Relax. What else we got? <laughs> we, we didn't do this for a month. I have nothing else to say. <laughs> <laughs> Zane. Are we bike or was this just like a, let's just catch up? Um, Let me see how like the first week we goes go. by the NFL. <laughs> Here we fucking go. Well, here's the thing. I'm going to fall fucking so far behind by going to this wedding and not paying attention. Because every Here's the thing. I condensed all of the work I would have done from Sunday 1 o'clock to 11 p.m. The 10 hours of work, I have to cram into a two-hour period on Monday morning. You don't understand. I do understand. I don't even understand. Why don't you just like watch on your phone? Oh, you think that's not what I'm going to be doing at the wedding? I'm going to be in the clo- co- fucking, clo- fucking, <laughs> fucking, <laughs> fucking, <laughs> fucking hotel room. I'm not coming to the fucking wedding. Dude, half the wedding's just gonna be like this on their phone the whole time. Did you pay for Red Zone yet? Yeah, we have it. We do? I think so. How am I gonna pay for Red Zone you right now? Venmo the guy. Pay the man? Yeah, you got <laughs> fucking pay the man. I don't, how am I gonna Venmo the guy? Like, I've never done that before. You did it last year. I Venmo you. Oh, Venmo me. No, I don't trust you. You had a Red Zone last year. Yeah, but we already have it. I don't think we canceled it. We were not paying it off season. Run it. <laughs> Run it. That's it. No, no, no. You stop. I'm not listening to you. <laughs> Hold up. We're not actually done though. I feel like we got so much more. Let me see. No, no, no. Don't fucking hit it. I'm telling you no. Why is that working? Yeah, get fucking bodied. Fuck the fuck, bitch. Is this even working? Have we even been recording? I try to put the why yelling. <laughs> When I said holiday, I meant. <laughs> it's kind of funny, Wilson. He's like, uh, I can't say it out loud. Actually, probably. He's like, we would. Nah, I'm gonna let you read it. Actually, it's like from the fifth text up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> when I first saw it, I like glimpsed at it, and I like dr- didn't really put two and two together. I thought I just mixed up the weekends. Wow, the guy. So you have nothing left. Yeah, I do. You just gotta give me some time. Give me a few minutes. Ethan Buster. Ooh. Yeah. You ever met Will, Tony's friend? Tony's your mate. Oh no, you no. weren't. Oh, fuck. He works at Manetta Tavern over there. Okay. He was like, uh, the co- the Bleachers concert is tomorrow, and he's going to it. Nice. He's like, yeah, my fucking, <laughs> my my drug dealer, like, can he, he's like, you ever you know, like hung out with a drug dealer? Like, you know, they're like sad, lonely people that like try to hang out with you for a little bit too long after they sell you drugs and yeah. shit. He's like, ah, I felt bad for him one time, and he like convinced me to go to a the concert with him and he's like i love the bleachers so now i'm going with him tomorrow and i'm just gonna like do a bunch of ecstasy and go and i was like fuck like i wish i can go but he can go like, not really though that's like really aggressive if i were to go yeah go to the concert that's in south like that's down the shore then i don't yeah. have to get back up to you then we drive to the wedding on the west coast of fucking new jersey then we drive bike the next morning and then i gotta cramp 11 hours of football into one hour what time do you have to leave? 20 minutes. I got to know Monday. <sighs> Monday might like be one of the worst days of my life. Yeah. Can't wait. All right. Well. Hold on. Why? You know what's fucking bullshit? What? Working with sponsors. This is why I don't want to work with sponsors ever. They just don't pay you. They don't pay you. Who hasn't paid I sent invoices. You? I haven't got paid for a sponsor since fucking 2018. I've done reads. I haven't got paid in two years. Are you serious? I'm backed up like 50K. No, you're not. No, I'm not. Probably like fucking $3,000. But I haven't got paid in, in like five months from anybody. Why? They just keep telling me like, oh, can you send over like this month's invoice? I'm going to give them payment for the last four months. They're like, okay, send over this month's invoice. I'm like, I feel like I'm working with Steve over here at Tiffany's. You, wouldn't, you don't pay invoices, I bet. No, we don't. You look like a non-invoice paying <laughs> motherfucker. Dude, when invoices come in, we just say talk to corporate. Yeah, that's what they all tell me. I'm like, you are like a three person team. You are corporate. We're not. I'm never, I'm never doing sponsorships again. Except for them, they pay fucking on time. They got an automated system, like FTDs on the tenth of the STDs? month. STDs. St. I'll take an STD for their FTDs. BT. IRS. DEA. Check. What? It's what? Why are you yelling? Ooh, you're biking it. You think this is how Spider Man looked his first time getting webs? Like, you're getting a little bit, a little bit too accurate for comfort over here. I'm putting a finger trap on you. This is your fucking. <laughs> what is this? Huh? What is that? I got eczema. <laughs> I ran out of band aids. Is that what you do? You just like put bandages over <laughs> eczema? No, you're not supposed to. So why the fuck do you do it? Because it's ugly, and it's itchy. Why don't you just take chop it off? Whoever gets <laughs> angry is gonna rip it off. This one's already almost done at the seams. Why we ripped though? almost you all of them. You just got it. I yeah, but we kept putting them on and almost ripping them off yesterday. It was fun. This is the happiest I've ever, ever been. Because <laughs> we're still this close. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Stop. Oh, dude, what the heck? I don't curse anymore. You know that, right? Really? I'm pretty sure I heard fuck like 19 times on the you chill. The vlog. The Wait. draft vlog. Haven't heard one of these in a while. 